matter? You look sad. I've lost my muse. Good morning, Rick. Good morning, girls. Good morning, Jade. Rick said he lost his muse. Well, I'm writing a novel, and Anne said that I need a muse because I have writer's block. Ah. Well, technically, Muse was one of nine daughters of the Greek god Zeus. I knew Jennifer was a goddess. Huh. But usually it's referred to a guiding spirit. Like Jerry? Emma, don't. Jerry, who's Jerry? You don't want to know. We have to go. Come on, Emma. What was that about? It's, it's a long story. So, Dennis took over as station manager after Jerry died in his office. Ooh, Jerry stories. We're just in time. Yeah, well, Brady found them and called Medic, but, I mean, they were here quick, but he was already dead. That's terrible. Yeah, but we still don't know why Jerry died. The show killed him. At least that's what I hear. But Jennifer knows the real reason, I think. Jennifer? Jennifer, my muse? Jennifer's your muse? And that makes Jennifer the daughter of Zeus. <laughs> Okay, Rick, you're like way out there, dude. <sighs> okay, let's get back to the mystery of Jerry. Mystery? Yes. Maybe that's what I can write about. Everybody loves a good mystery. <clears throat> well, good luck with that. Yes, a mystery. Right here on the set of the Mecklenburgers. <laughs> I knew the sun would come up sooner or later. It always does, I convince myself but I was going to need more than just a ray of sunshine to make things right. That's right. Me, Rick Blaine, hard-edged private eye. Needed much more to make things right. A bath and a clean shave might be a start. Or maybe a full night's sleep that doesn't come from a bottle of buttermilk. More than anything, though, I needed to find my self-respect. The kind that comes from a good day's work. Something to be proud of. And maybe, just maybe, something that might make a, a good woman fall in love with me. Come on, boss. It's time to wake up. Or, should I say, recover from last night? Leave me alone. Can't do it. Got too much invested in you. I mean, this place. Got to see some return on that ten grand I dumped into this business. Come on, Jade. You know I love you. Besides, you're the best assistant I've ever had. I was expecting more from you. More what? More work! From this place, from you! Come on, Ricky. You can still pull yourself together. Why, you got the smarts, you got the looks, you even got most of your own hair. Someday soon, your big break's gonna come walking right through that door. And there she was, the ninth daughter of Zeus, a goddess. She hadn't even spoken, but already I wanted to do whatever she said. I'd be her, her lapdog and bark at the moon if she wanted. All I knew was I felt alive for the first time in a long, long while. Thank you, dear. I take my tea with milk and honey. <laughs> well, I never. Then it's time to start. Uh, get some tea for, uh... Mrs. Muse. Jennifer Muse. I'm Rick Blaine, Private Eye. Yes, I know, Mr. Blaine. Uh, please, call me Rick. May I call you Mama? I mean, Jennifer. That depends on if we can come to some sort of mutual satisfaction. Well, what did you have in mind? I want to hire you. Oh, please, I do it for free. Rick, you, what are you saying? I mean, uh, hire me for what? To investigate a death. A death? You mean a murder? Please, sit down, and I'll explain. There was a colleague of mine named Jerry. One day, I tried listening to her story about some guy named Jerry who was found dead in his office, but all I wanted to do was dive into her big blue eyes. Okay, so her eyes were brown. The point is, I wasn't paying too much attention to what she was saying. After all, I had this gorgeous goddess sitting right there in front of me, asking to pay me just to look at her. Yeah, to work for her. So, 
You will take the job? Yes. I see that you and your associate need to talk things over. Well, here's how you can reach me. And keep the money as a, shall we say, temptation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, everybody's already all hot and sweaty over you now. Let's go, Tussie. And don't take too long to decide, darling. I'm the type of woman who doesn't like to be kept waiting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Give me Jennifer Muse, right away. Ricky, she just left. Oh, yeah, right. So, what do you think I should do? Well, if you're hell-bent on taking this case, I got two associates from an acquaintance of mine out there. Oh, good. Bring him in. Have a seat. <clears throat> so, what's the case, boss? Some about that dish who just left? We're investigating a death. A guy named Jerry worked at a local establishment. You guys need to take notes? It's all up here. All right, well, I need you two to contact the county medical examiner's office and find out what they know. Then check with the county's emergency service, medic, find out what they know. Anything else? Report back here with the facts. We'll send our associates. We were never here. Same fee as usual? Absolutely. The newest Hillary Duff CD. And the Cheetah Girls 2 movie in HDTV. Oh, what? That's highway robbery. Take it or leave it. Get them out of here. If I'm going to be robbed, it's going to be by adults. I'm calling for backup. We're in business. Let's just hope this Jennifer Muse isn't giving us the business, if you know what I mean. Of course, I had no idea what she meant. Instead, my mind was racing elsewhere. I knew Jennifer knew more than I knew she told me. But she also had to know I knew she knew more than she said she knew. Okay, so my mind wasn't exactly racing. But it was moving at least at the pace of a brisk walk down a slippery street. Hmm. Maybe a visit to the bar next door would help. Where are you going, Rick? I'm heading down to BL's bar. I need some fortification. Well, well, what do you know? Ricky Blaine. It's a pleasure. You thirsty? Good old Brady Lewis. Or BL for short. Although I long suspected he was tight with the mob, he never took objection to my profession. Especially since I'm his best customer. But not today. Not today, BL. I'm here on a case. Yeah? Who are you working for? You know I can't tell you that. Professional integrity. Hey, Mac. Set up a bottle here for my good friend, Mr. Rick Blake. Was I supposed to catch that? It's okay. Mac, set him another one. Her name was Jennifer Muse. She's a bit of a looker. Wait a minute. You mean my Muse? The only woman? Never made me cry? Never made me go down a water slide? That Jennifer? Could be. Say, what do you know about the death of a character named Jerry? Jerry, well... I don't know, except... Uh... Except what? Don't hurt out on me, old-timer. He was my son. Died right there behind the bar two years ago. What happened? Don't know. He just slumped over. I guess his heart just gave out. Is that all you know? I know the sum of the square root of the isosceles triangle is equal to the square root of the remaining sides. That's what you mean? Now, don't go all scarecrow on me, B.L. I'm just here for some answers. Well, you won't find any answers here unless you find it in that bottle of buttermilk. I'm off the sauce for good. Drinking that stuff will... Give you a slippery slope. You know what I mean? You're right. Well, I'm off. Got a meeting with two uh, business associates, you know? You mean two of your goons, don't you? Yeah. 
Lyle's my masseuse. Calvin does my nails. See you around. I couldn't help overhearing. I might know something. Oh, yeah? What's that? What it's going to cost you to find out what I know. That's one of the troubles with being a private eye. Everyone wants to get paid for squealing. So what do you know? I know the long-range vision of the Board of County Commissioners is to make Mecklenburg County a community of pride and choice for living, working, and recreating. Come again? And that one of their major goals is to make the community healthier and safer by reducing violence, injury, and emotional harm. Where's all this going? Well, the strategy for achieving this goal of keeping people safe from harm is by emphasizing prevention. What does this have to do with Jerry's death? Nothing, really. But you might want to talk to his brother, Dennis. He's upstairs, apartment B. And that's another thing. No one gives you a straight answer. Why don't you just say so in the first place? I don't know. You're the writer. The case was getting thicker by the minute. Not only was I falling for a dame, way out of my league, but I also find out she's been playing with the big boys. Why is it always this way? Just when I think I'm rounding first base, I get tossed a hard curve. This from B.L. and his way too educated bartender. So, here I am knocking on someone's home base, praying for a grand slam. I gotta stop thinking about baseball. Duke Dennis? Who's asking? Me, dipstick. You see anybody else here? Just that guy behind you. What's going on? You got bonked in the head. No. I mean, since when did you start smoking? I don't. It's just candy. Dirty habit. So how you feeling? Like I got hit in the head with a baseball bat. Thought you were going to say something like, your head feels like a melon in a vice. Yeah, like a child's balloon meeting a porcupine. Or like waking up from a five-day bender. Actually, that feels worse, because you get the trots, too. All right, anyway. You were late. I got worried. So I went looking for you. I went to BL's. Mac behind the bar said you were up in apartment B. I went up and there you were, out cold on the floor. We gotta go back. We gotta get inside. No need. I was already up there. The door was open. I went in. There's no furniture. There's no clothes. Nothing. It's totally clean. So we're at a dead end. Wait, what about the two operatives? They're waiting outside. Are they always outside? Sure. It just helps when you need them in a scene. Right. Send them in. How you doing, boss? Okay, fine. Have a seat. So, what's what? First, we checked the Mecklenburg County Medical Examiner. Pretty neat operation they got there. <laughs> yeah? So how many uh, forensic pathologists? Three, including some additional support staff. Huh. All right, so what's their story? They perform autopsies on the deceased, but not just Mecklenburg County, also Union, Anson, Stanley, Rowan, Cabarrus, and Cleveland Counties. And sometimes examinations on deceased in Gaston County. So why do they do examinations and autopsies on dead bodies? It says here, examinations are performed where the death was sudden or unexpected, or when the death is due to trauma, such as homicide, suicide, or accident. Homicide? Yeah, the M.E. That stands for medical examiner. The ME determines the cause of death, such as heart attack or blunt trauma, and the manner of death, such as natural, homicide, or accident. Accident? Yeah, accident. You know anybody who had an accident? Uh, yeah. 
Jerry. Oh, yeah, that. The medical examiner said all that information is confidential. He can only provide it to the next of kin, whatever that means. Would you try bribing him? He said no. Said something about unethical. Besides, I think he already has CSI. Home edition. Well, what about medic? Did you ask medic? Did you get any information from them? Oh, definitely. Yeah, definitely. First, uh, medic is short for Mecklenburg County's Emergency Medical Services Agency. Okay, so uh, what about Jerry? I mean, did they uh, did they respond after he uh, collapsed? I'm sure they did. Uh, medic responds to all 911 emergency medical calls. It also provides non-emergency ambulance transports within the region. It's called pre-hospital emergency care, and they serve all Mecklenburg residents across 542 square miles. What about Jerry? I mean, did they try to revive him or anything? Well, we know medic responds with an advanced life support crew of two. One is always a paramedic, and the other is either a paramedic or an EMT. All medical personnel are certified at both the state and local levels. And there are more than 50 ambulances in the medic fleet, with between 14 and 30 ambulances in operation depending on the time of day. Well, so th did they get there in time for Jerry? According to documented records, medic responds to greater than 90% of all requests for emergency services within 9 minutes and 59 seconds. That's even better than the response record time standards set by the Board of County Commissioners. Even though medic is the busiest EMS provider in North and South Carolina. Sounds expensive. Mm. So who's paying for all this? Hmm, medic funding comes from fees, Medicaid, and a subsidy from Mecklenburg County. This year, the county spent about $13.8 million for medic, though that's less than what it cost taxpayers in 1997. Well, it's a very impressive report. If I want to write an encyclopedia, now what about Jerry? Well, just like the medical examiner, medic provides confidentiality for all of its patients. Why? Because it's confidential. Get out of here before I run you both in for impersonating someone who actually knows what they're talking about. Hey, you don't have to get testy. Yeah, too testy. Get out of here. Well, you ought to... Rick, that was terrible. They're doing the best they can. No oh, pish. I might just be your assistant, but I don't need to stand here and listen to that type of language. I'm going home. Wait, Jade. I need you. Yes? To turn off the light. I, I have a headache. Having survived my off-and-on relationship with Jade, I knew time was running out on this case. After all, it's already page 26 of the script. What I needed was a good old-fashioned clue. And then, she walked right in. I thought I might get a visit from you tonight. I heard about that bump on your head. Are you okay? I decided to play cool. No, it, it, uh, it hurt really, really bad. Oh, poor baby. Is there anything I can do? Yeah, well, you can sing, sister. And fast. Climb oh, Never mind, never mind. I, I forgot you have a terrible voice. What's that? Yeah, I mean, you took a terrible chance. Coming here, I mean. I'm not worried about me. I am afraid for you getting hurry. Honey, that's what you pay me for, you know. <clears throat> you okay? I am worried about you. I'm afraid I have put you in grave danger. I want you off the case for your own sake. For my own sake, huh? What a Matilda you are, huh? You come in here, you, you stop on my heart, you get me bonked on the head, and then you saunter in cool as a frigid air. Tell me to, to drop my most important case, like a water balloon from the top of a four-story building. Is that what's going on here? Can you repeat the question? Right then and there, I knew Jennifer was head over heels in love with me. Oh, sure, she was pretending for my sake. Her mouth, eyes, lips, ears, nose, and kneecaps said buzz off, but her middle finger on her left hand said something else. I understand, Jennifer. 
It would have never worked between us. Adios, sweetheart. Is that a lash in your eye? Right. Okay, then. I'm glad you capiche. That's French for comprendez-vous. <laughs> It took all my strength to watch Jennifer work out right after hearing her speak to me in foreign languages. But it was for my own good. When the graceful click of her high heels faded to silence, I grabbed my hat for a little private eye surveillance. That's French for her. I followed her. What was I thinking? What, was I like a, a moth to a flame or what? What happened to Jennifer? What do you know about Jerry's death? I asked first. Talk to me about Jerry. We'll go easy on you. What, so you can only kill me once? Oh, he's a smart guy, huh? Smart enough to figure out what's going on here. So tell me. Well, the way I figure it, I'm tied up in this office, and you're asking me questions. And? And what? And that's it. I mean, I'm tied up in a chair in my office, and well... You keep asking me questions. Say, I don't think he knows anything. Quiet, I'll do the talking. Was that you, Dennis? Oh, I guess we didn't get to meet properly since you kissed my noggin with the Louisville slugger. See here, I never kissed you. He's lying. Ow! Be quiet, you dim bulb. He meant you knocked him in the head. Why do you always have to yell at me? Is that what happened to Jerry B.L.? Huh? He wouldn't shut up, wouldn't be your good little boy. Wanted to run the TV st... The bar, huh? His way? You don't know what you're talking about. Oh. And what about you, Dennis, huh? You wanted your brother's job so bad you'd do just about anything? Say, you want another whack on the head? And what about me, Rick? What have you figured out about me? Oh. I've got you pegged, sweet lips. Oh, you're so gaga over me, you'd even sell your soul to BL, just to protect me. It's always that way with me and the ladies. I've heard about enough of this. I think it's time we settle this once and for all. Jade! Emma! Amy! Get out of here! It's too dangerous! It's all right, boss. They're gone now. Unhands me, you two! Let her up, girls. She's no threat to any of us. Girls, take her down to the station. I'm sure Sergeant O'Malley or her and Sullivan will want to question her. But what about us, Rick? I knew there was never enough with Jennifer and me. There was only me and her and a lot of hooey-gooey in between. Like the marshmallow middle of a moon pie. Sure, you think you're gonna like it. But once you taste it, you'll find out it's just a sticky mess. Don't worry, Jennifer. I'm sure the jail needs a makeover. Take her away, girls. This is a mistake. You want to do this? I hope it is. By the way, Jade, thanks for saving my bacon. Don't mention it. After all, we're sharing the same hog, right? I'm not sure what that means, but it sounds detective like so. Sure. Say, did you ever find out what really happened to Jerry? Well, best I could figure it. Jerry died. Oh, I guess that's why your name is on the door. <laughs> How about a drink to celebrate? How about we uh, split a moon pie instead? You're the boss. <laughs> What do you think? Uh, very, uh, creative. But shouldn't the mystery have an ending? Like a solution? That's what, uh, that's what sequels are for. <laughs> Hi, I'm Suzanne Stevens. 
Mecklenburg County's Emergency Medical Services Agency, known as MEDIC, answered more than 83,000 calls for medical help this past year. MEDIC has approximately 170 full-time and 32 part-time field employees working at the paramedic or EMT levels. There are also logistics team members and emergency medical dispatchers supporting these certified professionals in the field. Medic is complemented by a network of medical first responders dispatched with paramedic units for all serious and life-threatening emergencies. First responder service is provided in the city of Charlotte by the Charlotte Fire Department. All firefighters are certified to the EMT defibrillator level. Volunteer departments and rescue squads, also certified to the minimum EMT defibrillator level, provide first responder service in the unincorporated areas of the county and the six surrounding towns. Now, in comparison to Medic, the medical examiner is a much smaller operation, providing autopsies and examinations of unusual or unexplained deaths in Mecklenburg County and the surrounding region. Regardless of size, both agencies play an important role in helping to keep you safe from injuries, disease, and even death. To learn more about these services, go to www.mecklenburgcountync.gov. Mm -hmm.